Hello friends, welcome to Mechanical Engineering Online Classes. Today's lecture will be delivered by Ms. Shravani Sri Ramoj. Let us see what is called as an optimality condition and what is called as a feasibility condition in simplex method. The example that is quoted here is the same problem that we have already solved. The link is already given in the description or otherwise you can click on the i button on the top right corner to watch that video where you can learn everything about simplex method. As we already know that in simplex method unless the optimality is attained the simplex method goes on iterating and modifying the table. What is this optimality condition then? Optimality condition depends on whether we can find an entering variable or not. If we take an example of the problem that we have just solved here we have found the net evaluation row as cj minus zj and for a maximized type of problem if the cj minus zj is all zeros or negatives if the cj minus zj is all zeros or negatives then the optimality is attained in case for example we the table that we are seeing here under x1 cj minus zj has come out to be a positive one so this table is for a max type of problem right so 3 by 4 is what is a positive number, the rest all are zeros or negatives. So wherever comes a positive value for this cj minus zj for a max type of problem, that variable is the entering variable. So we have to, we have to iterate our uh, table unless the cj minus zj is all zeros or negatives for a max type of problem or otherwise zeros or positives for a min type of problem. So this condition of not being able to find an entering variable is called the optimality condition. What does that mean? In clear terms, entering variable is a max problem. For a max problem is a non-basic variable having the most positive coefficient in the index row. That is the NER, what you are seeing, the last row in the table. And in case they are all zeros or negatives, then the optimality is attained. So that condition is called an optimality condition for a simplex method of max type. Or if the net evaluation row has all zeros or positives, then the optimality is attained for a min type of problem. So that is what is called an optimality condition for simplex method. This condition guarantees that only improved solutions can be obtained through this optimality principle. So if, uh, if NER is all zeros or negatives for a max type of problem like here, then it means that we cannot further improve our solution anymore. So that is the meaning that the optimal solution is attained. Now let us see what is called as a feasibility condition. Whether the objective function is of maximization type or a minimization type, leaving variable is the basic variable which is associated with the smallest non-negative ratio strictly with a positive denominator what we are seeing here is a minimum ratio or replacement ratio rr we have found uh, replacement ratios for s1 s2 and s3 this is for the first table in our previous problem so in case there is a tie in the replacement ratio or the minimum ratio then the tie can be broken arbitrarily or that is a condition of uh, degeneracy let us solve that problem later. You can see it later. Now, choosing a leaving variable which is having the minimum non-negative value under the RR column, that condition is called as feasibility condition. So this condition will ensure that if the initial solution or the static solution is basic and feasible, then during computation, we will definitely get only feasible solutions further. So that's the reason why we always start our simplex method with an IBFS, initial basic feasible solution. So if the first step is feasible, then every other step uh, after every iteration and iteration, we definitely get a feasible solution only. So this is a feasibility condition. So optimality condition is with reference to the entering variable whereas the feasibility condition is with reference to the leaving variable thanks for watching
If this video was of help to you, please like it and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.